Talking about black holes, I could speak about them all day. Black holes are a feature of Einstein's theory of gravity, of general relativity. I can't remember when he was, 17th century or 18th century. Um, there was this uh, person who, on Newtonian theory, yeah. predicted that you could have a body that was so big that the escape velocity would be greater than the speed of light. And then they called it at the time dark stars, right? If I remember correctly, something like that. They did, but you see, this is a mistake. Oh. Because if Newtonian theory is wrong to say that the speed of... You see, what is the speed of light? In Newtonian theory, there is no number which is the speed of light. If you imagine a distant star... Yeah. And the light falling on your surface of your body, it would have a mirror on the ground, it would be reflected up, and it would escape. So no matter how big your star is, how concentrated, the light falling on the mirror will fall back out and escape again. That's right. Now this is because, in Newtonian theory, there is no fixed speed of light. So the light from a star on this body would be faster than the light, maybe the flashlight on the star, or would it? You see, there's no theory. Okay. So it's wrong to say this is a black hole. All right. I'm only claiming that the notion of a black hole is mass and the speed of light. And you could imagine a body where if the speed of light was a definite speed, yeah. light would not escape from it. But you see, there's no... In Newtonian theory, you don't have a constant speed of light. Okay. The speed of light might be anything. It might be different down here from the light from the star. See, as it falls on the ground, it would acquire more speed. Yeah. Now, in relativity, that doesn't happen. The speed of light is fixed. Okay. And the speed of light, but then you do have black holes. So this is, a black hole is a body which is if you like, big enough or concentrated enough that light cannot escape from it. The speed of light is, is a, a limiting speed for everything in relativity theory. If light cannot escape, then nothing can escape. Okay. And if the black hole is, is where you have enough concentrated matter that it collapses in on itself, and there is a region where the, light, the speed of light is only constant. That is to say, you can stay put. A light signal could travel at the same distance around the body and just make a circle around it. Okay. If it was further in, it would fall in. Further out, it would escape. Of course, this is not very really realistic because the light would spread out and wouldn't persist in this orbit. But you see, there are bodies. Let me go back a little in, in history to my okay. experience with the subject. All right. I was a research uh, fellow. So okay. There was a time in the when quasars were discovered. So these were very bright objects and they were seemingly very distant because their redshift, you see you have uh, certain yeah. frequencies which, which we, you can tell whether something is either traveling away from us, frequency will be lowered because yeah. we're traveling away, or it might be because they're in a very big gravitational field that would also cause a redshift. And these bodies, people were arguing, are they that distant? These were very energetic bodies, very, very bright, and very redshifted. So people would say, are they really very distant? That means they're enormously energetic. Or are they maybe the redshift is gravitational? But then they would still be very concentrated bodies. And the trouble was, if they were concentrated bodies, the light would not get a, would not escape. And so you would yeah. see them. People were worrying about this question. And uh, there was an article written by Oppenheimer and his graduate student Snyder, and they described the collapse of a star which was too massive to stop its collapse, and it would fall inwards until the density become infinite in the middle. And this was known, this was 1939. This is an important paper. I was aware of this paper. Okay. But people said, well, it's not very realistic. 
because exact symmetry is not realistic. Yeah. It would be irregular. Yeah. It would be irregular. It might squish round and come out again. So that was the view I think many people had. And perhaps these quasars were such things. They might be concentrated and swirling out again. But then I wrote a paper which says no. If it collapses beyond a certain region and nothing to do with the symmetry, oh, then okay. you can. I introduced the notion. So you don't need to have spherical symmetry at no, all? No. no. So my paper was completely general. Okay. It could be completely irregular. Is it? If it reaches a point of no return, which is characterized by what I call the trapped surface. Okay. If there was this surface, if light flashes at that surface, then the light converges on both sides. See, normally if you have a concave surface, the light converges on one side and diverges on the other side. So that's the normal here. But here you have a surface, on both sides it converges. And this can happen with no symmetry at all. Okay. And if that happens, then you have collapse that you can't stop. And the, if you get divergences, you get singularities, <coughs> you get a catastrophe. And it, are you happy with the naming? Because when you say black hole, I mean, in daily life, hole means the region where the density is lower than the other area, right? But the, in yeah. black hole, density goes to infinity. There's not much matter left anyway. You see, the, the matter disappears. On the, it becomes singular. Okay. You don't know what happens. Now we are talking about really the heart of the black hole right now, right? We are talking about the... Well, anywhere inside. Event horizon. The event or... horizon is the... it's finite, but it's mostly vacuum. And the body itself will have gone inside, so the horizon is mainly vacuum. Okay. It's just a region where the speed of light at the surface of the black hole, light can fall in, but it can't get out. It's just hovers with the speed of light. So in this case, when we say surface, actually we are not talking about something you can touch, something physical, some vacuum of region. Yeah, it's, it's vacuum. It's yeah. a vacuum, yeah. It could be material there, but it's yeah. vacuum. Right. It's vacuum because the material will fall in. Oh, right, okay. So you would have vacuum, but to stay in the same place, you have to travel with the speed of light. Yeah. Because the light cones, are tipped inwards. Okay. Slightly out, the light will escape. Slightly in, all falls in. So that's the horizon. Horizon. It's the surface of the black hole. It's not material surface. It's what's called the horizon. Because it means... Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's enough.